Today, YouTube, I am back on Peterson Air Force Base, where most likely I will be returning to work in five and a half months. I say most likely because I applied for a job on the civilian side. We will see what happens with that. In the meantime, I know I'll be coming back to Peterson. What I want to talk about is the leadership styles that I've seen in almost 22 years of service being in the Air Force for myself. Came in enlisted and then I commissioned. So I've seen a lot of different leadership styles from people. I love to observe people, young, old, enlisted, officer, to see how they lead others because both of those are leaders. And you're taught at basic training, at least when I went through back in 1996, that there are different levels of leadership. So remember that, regardless of your rank, especially if you are in the military, regardless of branch also, what uh, leadership style you have. Leadership is something that I would just say it's influence over others, <clears throat> whether it's positive influence or negative influence. I have not done research on the topic. I'm just speaking off the top of my head from my observations. So this isn't one of those things. It's not like a leadership book. But how are you going to get leadership as an individual? That's a good question. And the answer, there's many answers, is you can watch others like I have. You can read books. I've, atten uh, I've attended professional military education in the Air Force. I went to Airman Leadership School. I went to Air Basic Course, which doesn't exist anymore, Squadron Officers School. And then I completed Air Command and Staff College. So professional military, also in college, you'll learn about leadership as well, depending on what your major is. But when I watch others, I've emulated the things that I like, the positive leadership styles, and I've learned from the negative leadership styles of others and things that I don't want to do. And you have to be consistent. You have to be able to communicate with people because perception of favoritism is out there, whether it's accurate or inaccurate. You don't want to have that where somebody thinks that you treat so-and-so better or that you spend more time with so-and-so because that perception is he likes them more than he likes me. That's one example. So, so be aware of that. I talked about communication as well. I have a former colonel who was my boss a year ago and it's interesting because I'm a major he's a colonel full bird 06 and I am one month older than him <clears throat> he came into our work center and had a two-page leadership his leadership style his leadership leadership vision and he shared that with everybody and he talked about being dependable communication I loved the letter he's not my boss anymore but his letter, which was two pages long, is something that I still have. And I learned, that's a perfect example of I learned from his leadership style, where he, if he's in that leadership position, he's going to assume that and, and let others know, hey, he's the person in charge. Here's what I need. Here's how you fit into his role. Here's how we as a team, him and us, make the mission go forward. That was great. From day one, he assumed leadership and he executed his leadership style, which was good. Leadership books, they're out there. There's many of them, or even leadership articles. I'm sure you can find them online because it's a very popular topic. Effective leaders versus ineffective leaders. Do you want to be an ineffective leader? Obviously, in most cases or all cases, the answer is no. Do you see yourself as a leader? I had a conversation with my mother-in-law uh, this morning. I almost said yesterday. <clears throat> and she said, she told me that I was a born leader, me, that I'm a born leader and that she's not a leader. And I said, well, I am a leader, but I don't consider myself a born leader. And I'll tell you why, because my style was, I learned from others, from others others people uh, other people's leaderships style so she said oh so is that a learned leadership and I said I, I like that I like that a lot I would say it's a learned leadership for me because it's something that when I was enlisted I was that section uh, I was that functional expert on the job and I was used to knowing all the answers 
And then when I commissioned and became an officer, that wasn't the case. I, I was more of a, a manager of the team. I needed to know what they were doing, how they were doing it, not necessarily how they were doing it, but when it was due and are they on track. And then I would depend on my team for them to execute whatever we had to do. They would give me updates and they would say, yes, we're on track. No, we're not, we're not on track. So you, we're going to have to adjust our leadership style depending on where we are in our careers, especially in the military or even in the civilian world as well. That's something that I would say it has helped me. Have I made leadership mistakes? Of course I have. I was stationed in Hawaii and I gave credit to somebody else failing to realize that it wasn't that person that made whatever it was I was talking about happen. It was somebody else. And that actually hurt the team. So I had to apologize, admit it, communicate, hey, it's my, my mistake, I apologize. I will pay more attention. Speaking of paying more attention in leadership, for me in my almost 22 years, paying attention has helped me out along because I've been able to make those adjustments that I talk about in many of my videos, whether it's a financial video, leadership, communication, things like that, is making those adjustments as individuals. Life is about making individuals. That's another topic in itself. So leadership is, do you see yourself as a leader? Yes or no? Hopefully the answer is yes. Are you making those adjustments? Are you listening? Are you communicating? And are you continuing to learn? Learning is important. It's, some of the, it's one thing that I can tell you that I love to learn every single opportunity that I can, whether it's every day or every week. And I will never know it all. And that is okay. As an individual, we don't know it all as long as we continue to learn and ask questions and be curious. Hopefully, this has been a good topic for you that you've enjoyed. I've been extremely busy in the last month, which is why the number of videos that I'm making has actually gone down. It's not because I don't want to make videos or topics, it's just that I've been extremely busy. And now I have a lot more time to myself, so I'm going to continue to bring topics that I find interesting, that I learn, and, and share that with you as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. Have a great day. Take care.